Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe Word of the Day. I'm Denise Pass with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. People can proclaim peace all day long, but if they do not know Jesus, they will not find peace in this broken world, just shattered pieces of our hope. As the saying goes, no God, no peace. No God, no peace. We're today in the book of Philemon, and the verse of the day is Philemon 1, verse 3. May God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace. Word of the day is peace. It is the Greek word, reine. It means rest, quietness, harmony, peaceful attitude, and state of mind. Paul wrote this epistle while imprisoned for the gospel to Philemon. In each of Paul's letters, there was a greeting to the church or to the person that he was writing to. But this proclamation of peace was not just words. Paul knew what it was to be in turmoil, yet have peace. The Enduring Word Commentary says this brief letter was written by Paul during his Roman imprisonment, described in Acts 28, 30-31. Paul did not consider himself a prisoner of Rome or of circumstances or of the religious leaders who started his legal troubles. Paul was a prisoner of Jesus Christ. Paul was in prison and he wrote to encourage Philemon. Think of that. All does not have to be peaceful around us in order for us to walk in peace and to be a perpetuator of peace. Part of the secret of Paul's peace is being others focused. So often we scramble for peace by focusing on ourselves and frankly, that robs us of peace. Paul was thanking Philemon for refreshing the saints and Paul had a request that Philemon would accept a former slave, Onesimus. And there's a word play that Paul employs here. The name Onesimus means useful. Formerly, Onesimus was useless. Now he is useful. This is another secret to Paul's peace, being grateful in seemingly ungrateful times and seeing the glass as half full rather than half empty. Do you speak peace to those surrounding you? Do you go to pieces or go to the peace we have in Christ when circumstances are less than ideal? God has called us to be peacemakers, pointing people to the peace we have in Christ. Peace is not the absence of troubles, but the presence of God in those troubles. Go with God and his precious word, friends. Join us tomorrow in the book of Numbers.